So now I'd like to show you how you take your final design drawing, which is now on my final design page. And I'd like to show you how you're going to take that drawing and put it into 2D design. So 2D design, hopefully you've been able to download it, or hopefully you're able to have access to it so that you're working on it. And I will open it right now and you will be provided with this screen by here. This screen is actually the size of an A3 piece of paper. Okay, So I'm just going to paste my final design drawing into here like so. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll see a magnifying glass. We're going to go with the one with a plus on it to zoom in so that I can see my drawing nice and clearly. OK, now that you've done that, we're actually going to perform a task known as vectorizing. When we're laser cutting, we need to have a file that is known as a vector. A vector is a file that consists of just lines and color fills. At the moment, because this image is a, uh, is a photograph, it consists of what's known as pixels. Lots and lots of little dots very close together to create an image. If I was to send this through to a laser cutter, it would not know what to do. It does not understand what to do to pixels. It only understands what to do with vectors. Therefore, we need to convert this file into a, into a vector file. So from a pixel file into a vector. And we do that using the vectorize button on the left hand side here. So you can see that the icon is lots of dots into a block of blue. So it's converting the pixels into a vector. I've selected the tool. I'm going to click my image. Then this is really important that you click the monochrome option. You can then play with the luminance to improve the quality of it, your image. If you go too far to the right, it goes black. If you go too far to the left, it disappears. I want you to find the best quality. And I'm looking that that there is good for me. I'm going to click OK. And OK again. And that will then convert my file into a vector based file. There is one last thing that I would need to do right now to this file. And that is to add an outline. I would like to add a red outline because the red outline when laser cutting means to cut. So I'm just going to change my line color to red. Click OK. If I go on to this contour tool now, I'm going to add a zero mil contour by clicking OK and then click on the outside. Look at where my little finger is. So I'm going to locate the contour on the outside. And if you zoom right in, it has now created an outline around the black of my design. I'm going to zoom back out. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make sure that this design is an appropriate size.